everybody. Welcome to the Beyond Sunday podcast. Today, we're going to talk about a topic that maybe isn't talked about a whole lot. We're going to talk about therapy in the church. And to help us with that, we have a licensed therapist here with us um, to just help us walk through this and process through some questions. So let's get started. You are watching the Beyond Sunday podcast. Yeah, so I'm Jenna, and this is Mariah, and we have our good friend Katrina here, who's a marriage and family therapist, Mm -hmm. and today we're going to talk about this, and it's kind of a taboo topic within the church, Mm -hmm. I think, sometimes, and uh, so I first question is, is it okay for Christians to see a therapist? Well, I hope so. Yeah, <laughs> me <laughs> too. Your whole Christian is built on it, and I go to therapy. So, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's a good question though, because I think that it can get really muddy. Yeah, because in the church, there's just like you said, it's very taboo. Mental health is yeah. like it's goes on the one end of it's a complete spiritual issue, and then the other end, it's like mm-hmm. it's not at all, and yeah. they're they can divorce each other quite Absolutely. a bit. So, let's push them together. Yeah, and. Um, yeah, I think absolutely. Um, I don't think therapists are supposed to replace God at all. Yeah. Which can happen. Right? Yeah. Like we can get into this mindset of like, I can do it on my own and, and we yeah. can't do that. So I think that they're a gift, um, to come alongside Christ and yeah, give us a tool and help us, you know? Yeah. That's a good have point. Some support. I, I think that I've heard before people say of like, you know, shouldn't God be our therapist? Mm-hmm. And, you know, you don't need to see one because you've got God. Mm -hmm. So what, how do you view it in that light, I guess, of the difference? Yeah. So (laughs) that, when I, Mm -hmm. when you had me like kind of look at this question before, I giggled to myself because I've heard that so many times. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, if we really want to get into it, Holy Spirit is our counselor. Yeah. Okay. He teaches, he leads, he comforts. And Mm -hmm. um, so we can't forget that part. Yep. Um, and at the same time, sometimes when we are struggling with mental health, we can get blocked yeah. completely. Yeah. And sometimes we don't hear him as well or, mm-hmm. um, you know, we need somebody to come alongside us and kind of go, here's truth again. Yeah, absolutely. And so um, with this mixture of combining just, I don't know, this uh, talking about him and you had mentioned, I know we haven't fully gotten to this part yet, but combining um this idea of therapy with spirituality yep. and and you s- something about like christians being therapists and yeah. christians only seeing christian therapists so yep. s- i don't know if i <laughs> jump the gun on that <laughs> <No>. line <laughs> <laughs> but it kind of goes together yeah absolutely um, and when we're christians and we're trying to deal with mental health i think that we can kind of go into this place of misunderstanding where mental health comes from and yes. and, and mm. what is actually the problem. Yeah. Is it a spiritual issue? Mm-hmm. Is it something physical? Mm-hmm. Is it, that's right. You know, all that stuff that yes. it's like, am I sinning because I'm in this place? Uh-huh. But, uh-huh. Yeah. So, so we have to go, is my anxiety and depression? Cause that's what we're specifically yeah. focusing yeah. on, right? Is anxiety and depression. Is it like you said, physical because yeah. so many people kind of disregard the physical aspect of anxiety. Yeah. Mm. Um, when we go into like therapy, you're always going to get, the therapist is going to ask you for doctor information because yep. we have to go, do you have a thyroid issue? Yep. Mm. Like a lot of people kind of dismiss that, but thyroid and your mental health, like they kind of hang out together. Yeah. Mm. And so um, that's like one of the first things we investigate yeah. as therapists actually is your, your medical health. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But there's even more like mineral deficiencies especially magnesium and vitamin d which mm. in america i'm not one. a doctor but yeah in america we are so right. depleted in those two yes and they are so connected with specifically anxiety and depression yep. so um and then we have to go into deep trauma mm-hmm. like yeah. some people have deep anxiety because of past trauma that's not really been resolved yep. yeah and we have to address that and then we go into the camp of that anxiety that's because we can't control something yep, or right. 
you know, that is more of the taboo topic that yes. we'll probably get into soon. But, yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, yeah, so I probably swayed away from your original question, yeah. which is probably going to happen. You, you know, might, have, that's to, okay. you might <laughs> have to bring me back in. Yeah, that's okay. I have now, a lot of stuff to talk about. I feel like the times where I hear people talk about the, like, you know, God being our therapist, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, these things you should be walking through with with the Lord, but He's called the Wonderful Counselor. Absolutely, we sing it. Yep, we, we, do. Do. we sing it. We sing, we sing it, so it's true. Yes, <laughs> but it seems like I hear people say it when it's like a response to, right. uh, you know, have you ever thought about talking to someone? Mm-hmm. Well, you know, God's supposed to be our, our therapist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's like, okay, but are you seeking the Lord in that? Mm-hmm. Are you actually allowing Him to be yeah. that for you? Well, and I like what Katrina said about it being a tool. Yes, mm-hmm. absolutely. Like a therapist is an instrument that God mm-hmm. can use. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so the way I like to look at a therapist is like, let's pretend this ball of yarn is mm-hmm. like unraveled and all knotted up and all crazy. And you yourself, you're like, Jesus, I love you. And my ball of yarn is all knotted <laughs> up. Yep. And so someone who loves the Lord and knows about mental health mm-hmm. comes and kind of like helps you make it into mm-hmm. like a new ball yep. of yarn. Like that's how I like to picture a therapist. I We're like not that. creating a new mind within you. That's no. God's job. Yeah, We're yeah, not yeah. creating um, healing in you. That's God's job. Mm-hmm. We, we don't do that. We're just kind of facilitating and coming alongside you to help the healing process. Yep. So. Offering yeah. clarity. And, mm-hmm. yep, clarity absolutely. is huge, especially yeah. when we're struggling. Clarity kind of yes. goes out the window. Right. Well, yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Yeah. Well, and like along with like people say God can be your therapist, but like mm-hmm. I've also heard like, you just need more faith or you yeah. just need to pray mm-hmm. more. Yeah. Yeah. You you don't believe strong enough that your ball of yarn is going to <laughs> unravel itself. Yeah. And again, so you're going to hear me say a lot. It's a twofold thing. Yep. Yeah. And I think there are different camps with this. Yeah. With some people, maybe they haven't taken it to the Lord. Yeah. Maybe the distress within them is so deep because they refuse to release control mm-hmm. or release um some worry or release Mm -hmm. something because that's where anxiety really the deep inset of it is a lack of control a loss of control yeah it is yeah and and we can trace that like we can jump over streams and trace over to the root cause yeah and that is most of the time it maybe not every time but most of the time yeah Mm -hmm. and so we have to go okay so what is your actual deal (laughs) Yeah. yeah have you brought this before the lord have you sought him right like because one of the verses I love so much, it's actually on my arm. So <laughs> it's a tattoo on my arm, but it's um, tattoo, not Sharpie, not Sharpie. <laughs> it has been there Wrote for, it down just for this. A long <laughs> time. I call it my testimony tattoo, but I'll get into that later. Yeah. Um, it's Psalm 34, one through five. And it really talks about I sought the Lord okay. and he freed me from mm. all of my fears. Yep. And now I radiate with joy. So in that, it's like going to him is a big deal. And yeah. opening your hands handing him your stuff and actually receiving his peace yeah because that exchange i think is missing a lot of the time Mm -hmm. absolutely so there can be that so that cliche but i think when people hear that they shut down and they go what are you talking about and then yeah that goes out the window instead of being met with empathy and kindness yeah yes the kindness of the lord leads us to repentance so like yeah i think it's really important to approach it in that way and then the the little walls they just kind of fall down and then we can go oh Mm -hmm. maybe i really am not releasing that to the lord yeah maybe i am trying to control that situation and i can't and so my Mm -hmm. body feels ah like Mm -hmm. freaking out you know so So, when do you know the difference between mm -hmm. the you know maybe you know taking this Mm -hmm. to god to the point of it's time that maybe i do see someone sure um i know that was a place where um, I sat for a long time of like Same. struggling for stuff and like I'm praying about it and mm-hmm. uh, it wasn't uh, it was Katrina um, <laughs> and that actually like was speaking things and I was hearing them I was kind of like starting to think about therapy and then we went to Kairos and mm-hmm. it was like okay it's time mm-hmm. but that was honestly it was a external situation that actually got me to go, yeah. okay, I'm going to go to a therapist. And then we got there mm-hmm. and was like, oh, yeah, we're not going to talk about that. And I was mm-hmm. like, mm, yeah. <laughs> we're going to go into all the other mm-hmm. stuff now. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, finding that spot where it's like, this is the line yeah. of that. Yeah. So in my opinion, um, which 
everybody's got one and yeah. it's going to be different everywhere. Mm-hmm. But um, in my own opinion, I think that um, that line that you're talking mm-hmm. about is when there's a lack of functioning. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. And yeah. where, um, and again, this is why to me, finding it as a believer, finding mm-hmm. a Christian therapist yeah. is really important because they're going to draw you back into truth. Yep. Yes. And um, a non-Christian therapist is going to really just go with the factual parts of your mental health, which yes. is not like horrible, but as a believer, we need to come back to truth. We yeah. have to come back to the source of life. And so mm-hmm. um, like a Christian therapist will bring you back into that place mm-hmm. and help you to navigate the thought that you either can't get rid of or the, the hamster wheel that won't yep. stop no matter <laughs> how much you pray or whatever. Um, yeah. And then, you know, that that's when we go into a lack of functioning. Yep. And, yeah. Um, that's when I think you should take Time that step. Sometimes you somebody. don't even know that you have a lack of functioning. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like, that's a good at least point, for yeah. me, like, I had little, I don't know if ticks is the right yeah. word, mm-hmm. but like, I thought I was doing okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I went to therapy and it was like, that's not normal. Like yeah. it's not. That's yeah. Not, that's not how the like, things you've learned to accept uh-huh. of this is just what right. it's like. Yeah. But like there's freedom from that. Mm-hmm. What? Like, yeah. you know, and, and freedom and, in Christ. Well, yeah. 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 And then all of a sudden it's you're like wrapping the ball of yarn. And you're like, oh, my gosh, I did not know that was there. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. And so that's good. Yeah. yeah. And I think there are multifaceted pieces. So one like you said, what if I don't even know I'm lacking in mm-hmm. function? Yeah. Um, because once you are actually lacking in function, it's gotten pretty bad. Right. So, yeah. um, relationships, check those out. Mm-hmm. Are you in yep. fights with people all the time? Are you constantly offended over and over and over and over mm-hmm. again? Does yeah. it, like everything hurt your feelings? Does now some people are just a little more sensitive than yes. others, but like, it, then, are you crying all the time? Mm-hmm. Are you, just finding it. Can you sleep? Yeah. Are you sleeping? Are you like finding yourself physically having issues? Like, I mean, we go into anxiety stuff. Yeah. Are you yeah. shaky? Are you having um, a hard time breathing? Are you feeling yourself shut down in conversations? Mm-hmm. Yep. Are you wanting to isolate? Okay. Mm-hmm. That is a big, that one's one. mine. <laughs> that is like it's a, everybody who has anxiety and depression yes. wants to isolate. Yep. Um, mostly depression, anxiety yeah. also, but it, anxiety will do other things too. Yeah. Um, but that piece, um, yeah. for so many people, that's that line is, okay, I'm isolating. I'm yeah. putting a mask on. I'm covering mm-hmm. myself, and I'm exhausted every day. So absolutely, yeah, that's when it's it's time. It's time to talk to somebody. Yeah, yep. Well, and, and I've heard people say like, "What would I even talk about with uh-huh. a therapist?" Yeah. Oh yeah. The like, hey, you should talk to someone. What would I even talk about? Yeah. I don't have anything to talk to them about. Mm. There's that connotation <laughs> of like that something has to be wrong. Yeah. Or like, I know my husband and I went through a really uh, a good time where we were like, I want us to go see a marriage therapist. And we were just having trouble communicating about some stuff and we were fighting a lot, but there was no big issue. Mm. But as soon as I was like open uh-huh. and like told people like, hey, Derek and I are going to go to, you know, we're seeing a therapist or whatever. Immediately I'd get what's wrong. Sure. Uh, or like, yeah. you know, there has to be like an uh-huh. affair or something if you're going to go to <laughs> That's when it's a little, a little late on the yeah. marriage like, therapy. Man, I didn't realize that everybody yeah. thinks that you only go to counseling uh-huh. when things are like almost mm-hmm. done. But yeah. Yeah. And, and I mean, a lot of people do see therapy as almost like an emergency service. Like, yes. Um, but the best way therapy is so helpful is when you see a therapist before it gets totally yep. bad so that you can get back on track. Um, so, yeah, I love that you went to a therapist before it was absolutely crazy yeah Um, and it helps so mm -hmm. much yeah because you're still in that place of like loving and caring about each other when you get to the very end both people kind of they check out jump off the train a little bit and it's really hard to get them back on the (laughs) train so if you're still on it you can keep driving so when people could like even translate that to not marriages yes like yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. how are your relationships going like is there tension in your relationships are Mm -hmm. you struggling in relationships Mm -hmm. do you have recurring thoughts like whatever yeah like fix it before it gets bad it does not have to be just marital and i mean like literally with a friend is are you constantly bickering with your friend yeah you know right are they confronting you and you're in denial like if Mm -hmm. you know things like that just all kinds of so any relationship I never if you had told me that I was gonna go to therapy and talk so many weeks in a row with my counselor <laughs> about just how I'm overwhelmed and I feel like my house is 
dirty. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. I talk about the stupidest things with her. Yeah. That's like, we're going to talk all about this deep trauma. And really, it's like, you know, what's, what's it right now? My house is a mess. Yeah. I need to paint my kitchen, all this stuff. And like, her being able to help me yeah. walk through those things and actually go like, you know, what's a step you could take that would make it feel less mm-hmm. overwhelming? Like, mm-hmm. You do not have to talk to counselors about the heavy stuff. No. It's like, and they, this is what's causing yeah. me stress and overwhelm. Especially if you go, like, specifically, there are some counselors and therapists that don't specialize in anxiety yeah. and depression. Mm-hmm. They do other things. Maybe personality disorders. I don't know. Other stuff. Yep. Um, I actually, like completely focus on i mean i do marital stuff a lot yeah, i yeah. love it that's like my my love that's your jam that's my yeah. love <laughs> but my actual like what i focus on my niche is anxiety disorders and yep. um trauma so okay um that's what i work with the most and it, you have to i feel like it kind of takes takes one to know one yep. a little bit with that one <laughs> um but with this deep anxiety it's like um you have to know where to go with it and you Mm -hmm. have to know when to push and not to push yeah and so starting with the little stuff is actually really important because Mm -hmm. i guarantee you your therapist knows what's 10 steps down the way (laughs) they're just not going there yet because you're not ready to be there yet no that's the thing we're not diving all the way into the deep end so she she or he whoever's seeing you is dealing with your mental load first Uh yeah mental load is really tough when we have anxiety and depression Mm. because it's like my fork is in the wrong place i'm having a meltdown yes it's not about the fork you guys yep (laughs) but that fork also needs to move (laughs) it it does it does there was one time Um, i went to therapy and i was literally sitting on the couch crying because i had sold the rug that i had in college Uh (laughs) yeah it's not about no, the and I, mean, I wanted to keep it. That's uh-huh. so like, heartbreaking. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. Like, yeah. But in that moment, it was, it was a big, big deal. deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, it's always deeper than the thing on top. Yep. But sometimes you just need to deal with the thing on top mm-hmm. to get to it. Yeah. And that's okay. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Shooting the breeze with your therapist. They'll know what to do with it. You have to trust yeah. that yeah. they're going to know what to do with that's what you the have. point of us yeah like we're trained to know what to do right. with what yeah with what well, one of the things that i don't know if it brings other people comfort mm-hmm. but it brings me comfort going to a therapist like they're not gonna go tell people about it no yeah <laughs> like you literally can't you literally can't <laughs> no and yeah. so like yeah Whereas if I tell a friend or something, there's so many like inner mm-hmm. connections yes. and they know people like mm-hmm. my therapist is completely third party. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, they have no one to tell. Mm-hmm. Like, I was thinking about that earlier, too, of like, I think that can protect you a little bit, too, of like, you know, we did an episode on gossip and, and that stuff, like mm-hmm. being able to vent in a healthy way to someone who's going to listen that it is not mm-hmm. shooting the breeze with your yeah. friend. You know, it's. Mm-hmm. I get to let out some of this and have yeah. someone to redirect me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. totally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and again, combining that with, are you venting to the Lord first? Yeah. And including that. Cause I think sometimes we can go the other way and yep. go, like almost put our therapist on a pedestal. Mm. And yeah. Be like, Oh, I'll just save that for my therapist. And that can't happen. Yeah. We can't do that. No, they're just a tool. Yes. God is the ultimate healer. So yeah. And your therapist is also, first. they're not your accountability partner. They're mm-hmm. not to take no. place of that. They're mm-hmm. someone to help help you yeah. to take steps, mm-hmm. not to go, oh, yeah, I see a therapist about that. They'll, mm-hmm. you know, I don't need community. You need community. Uh-huh. Yeah. And you need accountability and you yeah. need those things. <laughs> and hopefully your therapist is telling you that. Yes. <laughs> if they're not, move on. Well, I think that goes back to what you've said about mm-hmm. finding a Christian therapist. Mm-hmm. And so... Let's talk about that a little bit about sure. why is that so important that yeah. you're yeah. finding a Christ mm-hmm. following therapist. Yeah, sure. Okay, so with that, I, there are therapists that have even Christian therapists that have different opinions and yep. views on that. Mm-hmm. My opinion is it is so important because we can again, we cannot divorce body, mind and spirit. Yep. Yeah. And spiritual health is all part of it. It's mm-hmm. it's not like all by itself. But it is included in body, mind, and spirit. And mm-hmm. so when we go to someone who doesn't know Christ, they're either going to include a funky version of spirit yep. mm. or not at all. Yep. And um, so it'll be replaced with something, mm-hmm. just probably not Christ. And, and as believers, that's what needs to be intertwined. Mm-hmm. And so 
so for me, I'm a CBT specialist, cognitive behavioral therapy. Mm -hmm. And um, it's like one of the scientifically proven methods to help, especially with anxiety and depression. Mm -hmm. And and part of that is I personally think God created CBT first. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) I love that. He he came up with it. It was already there. There are verses (laughs) all throughout the Bible that are the foundation of cognitive behavioral therapy. I love that. Yeah. And, and that was kind of my little thesis and my master's yeah. degree. So um, with that, it's like we look at taking our thoughts captive mm. and bringing them before Christ. In cognitive behavioral therapy, we find the core thought or the mm-hmm. core fear or the core whatever, and we put it against truth. Yep. Okay, huh. that's, that's the scientific version. Then Jesus says, you know, the truth shall set you free. Yeah. So we yeah. have to – we do that, and we put them together. And so um, – I just do that with the word of God. That's yep. so cool. And I find truth in the word of God and combine it with our thoughts. Yep. And so I know you said yeah. before you like get to do freedom ministry I do. at work. And yes. I love that. <laughs> I told Kathy that I was just in the freedom training and I was like, you're doing cognitive behavioral therapy just without a degree. I just wanted you to know that. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Because it, it's all it's trading, trading and receiving yep. truth for the lie, truth for the fear, truth for mm-hmm. all of it. And well, God thought of it first. Yeah, I did. <laughs> so, yeah. Super well, helpful. and I also appreciate that in with having a Christian counselor, which I, I do see mm-hmm. a Christian therapist, is that my spiritual life and my mental health are not separated. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. she sometimes we do talk about the stupid everyday stuff. Sure. But yeah. also, every appointment she ends and she prays for me. Good. Mm-hmm. Prays yeah. with me mm-hmm. and can redirect me to truths about God. And, you know, even when we talk about, you know, we'll talk about coping mechanisms, but like use our coping tools, yeah. but <laughs> uh, using uh, things from scripture to yeah. do that. And right. like mm-hmm. talking about, you know, truths of God and, mm-hmm. and worship music and stuff like that, that it points me back to the yeah. Lord right. in my appointments. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah. That's important. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. And when we're talking about like, freedom ministry and stuff that is a specific thing that we do here Mm -hmm. at christ church Mm -hmm. um we have an entire ministry devoted to that and it's just finding freedom in christ Mm -hmm. and so when we're talking about that that's what that is Mm -hmm. um yeah and it fits right into yeah this conversation Mm -hmm. so let's talk about that as we end of where does freedom ministry fit with this where where does does freedom in christ Yes, (laughs) Yes, <laughs> just freedom with, with their freedom mm-hmm. in general. I love this. So, I mean, earlier I was talking about you know cognitive behavioral therapy. Don't try to do that on your own. Yeah, you know, it, it uh. is a thing you have to learn. I want to make sure to say that. Part. Yeah, I know some people <laughs> don't can try this at kind home. Of, kind of you take got a degree that, for a reason. Take that and run with it and go. Oh, sweet! I'm yes. gonna do CBT on myself. <laughs> um, which I mean is kind of fine, but work with the counselor first. <laughs> yeah, on that one. Um, but but about. Um, that okay sorry re re ask your question oh freedom, freedom. yeah where does yeah. freedom fit Still in got baby brain um, <laughs> <You're> okay <laughs> so <laughs> um freedom ministry is i love the freedom ministry yeah here, okay <laughs> it is my bread and butter yeah i love it i think that it is so wonderful and it i mean yeah. when we think of freedom ministry and i've said this a few times it's an exchange yeah it's the great exchange like we exchange our pain we pin it to the dang cross and mm-hmm. we take freedom and so mm-hmm. like jesus is off the cross you guys he's, yeah he's not on it anymore he's set us free yep and um we don't have yes. to stay in it it doesn't mean we're not in it and we're in denial that we're in it yeah we yeah. don't have to sit there like it says um as I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, not as I camp in the valley of yeah. the shadow of death. <laughs> yeah, you're you not keep there. Going. Praise the Lord. <laughs> you keep going. Don't sit there. Don't sit there. So so I think that our freedom ministry that the Lord has blessed Christ Church with is so about that exchange. And yeah. so yeah. before when we were taught, like John 14, 27 talks about he, Jesus himself says, my peace I leave with you. Mm. Like here, I'm giving you my actual peace. Who wants anything but Jesus's actual peace? Yeah. Like, that's the great, like, take it. Yeah. Other than salvation, like, that freedom in him, take that peace. Yeah. And, um, and I think the freedom ministry here does that so well. Yeah. Um, exchanges truth for the lies. Ex- like, mm-hmm. all the little things we do. And then we have testimony. Yeah. To talk about the times that God really did restore. And yeah. I think. Yes. 
like it is no joke that there's power in our testimony yep. which hopefully i'll get to talk about a little later yeah but. yeah absolutely yeah well, I think that's all we got time for on this one. Yeah. But, but join us for yeah. the next one because we're going to keep this conversation rolling. There's more. Yeah. There's more. <laughs> and join us down in the chat and ask more questions. Let's talk about yeah. it. Yeah. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. This has been another episode of the Beyond Sunday podcast. And don't forget, like, share, and subscribe.